Welcome back to the show. Honored to have my next guest because uh, everybody watching right now, you know the name. The former mayor of Gloucester also can put author under her name as well. She has a brand new book. It's called Ladies Take Your Place. I'm joined by Claudette Kane Coolis. Welcome to the show, Claudette, and, and uh, congratulations. I mean, I don't think anyone would be surprised to hear that you've continued to, to keep yourself busy, right? Right. That's right. It's a treat, though, to be here, Derek, to... Uh to be on the other side of the camera of my former employer. Yeah, That's no fun. kidding. That's right, because TV host, uh, radio host, you're an entrepreneur, um, five elections in a row. I mean, what, what do you think you owe your success to all, all these years, Claudette? Um, I think it's, uh, you know, being authentic, being, um, telling it like it is. That's the only way I know how to do. And um, picking up myself when I was down and I and I have been as my book will reveal I've had um, issues with mental illness as a young woman mm. and so that's why I've um, partnered with the Royal to try and raise awareness and break down the barriers of uh, mental illness and at the same time help as many women as I can to dare to take a risk on themselves yeah and become the, the CEO of their own life. Yeah, and uh, that was important to you. As I understand it, proceeds of, of this book are, are being donated to two organizations, not just the Royal, right? That's right, the Royal in, in Ottawa and Don House in Kingston, a home for uh, unhoused women. I know uh, this is probably a question that you'll, you'll take up the rest of the interview answering um, because I know you're very passionate about it and you want to see and, and there's a great need for more women to be at the decision making table uh, of everything, of every decision that's, that's made. Let's, let's talk about that and sort of expand on that for us, Claudette, and, and why you believe so strongly in that. Well, you know, we make up more than 50% of the population, close to 55%. Mm -hmm. And yet, we are represented in the um, corporate world, in the executive level, by 28%. And the same thing at, at, uh, in uh, the halls of parliament, where we've elected more women than ever in our parliament, yet we're still at only under 28%. So... I want to encourage as many women as I can to put themselves forward, take a risk on themselves, focus on what inspires them, and get themselves a mentor and a coach and go for it, whatever it is they want to change in their life or how they want to contribute, not only to their own life, but to the life of others. Right. And I did that by being in local government, um, in the media, too, we had a blast, as you might recall it, at Rogers and taking people's calls and um, answering their questions of the day. And so this is taking nothing away from men, because I've worked with a lot of men. And yeah. They're not intimidated by women at all. But it's just that women seem to sit back, because it is a man's world, instead of focusing on what inspires them and then going for it. Now, if I can do it with terrible, terrible episodes of mental illness as a young woman and still make it successfully in four careers, then anybody can. And so I've been working with women uh, to encourage them and to uh, help them get started because some of them just don't know where to start. Right. What do I do in front of a microphone? What do I do in front of 100 people? <laughs> you know, they're just not sure. And so with my coaching practice, I've been able to see the positive outcomes and in no time at all that uh, they can get that self confidence and the self-esteem and say by jumpins I can do it. Claudette, so I, I want to remind important. I just want to remind viewers uh, very quickly that the book is called uh, Ladies it's Take called Your Place. Ladies Take Your Place. I wonder um, if you can maybe touch on municipal politics because we've got an election coming up in October. We're going to see a lot of new faces around the table. I know of course, you know, you know Mayor Watson personally, many around uh, the council table. What's your advice for the new mayor and for new members of council around that table? Um, well, first of all, I learned not to take myself too seriously. Mm. And, and I learned that at Rogers. But 
women um, need to understand that we need them at the decision-making tables. We need their, their um, nurturing skills, we need their common sense, we need the uniqueness that they bring um, to all decision-making tables. And it, they need to put their name on a ballot very soon. Not yeah, takes yeah, guts. agreed. So get yourself a mentor, get yourself a coach, talk about it to see if it's what you really want and what you can contribute, and then go down go out and do it. Hall, great, sign great, in. Great do advice, it. Claudette. Thank you so Claudette, much for joining us. So Congratulations again on the book. It's always a pleasure to see you here on Daytime. We'll be back right after this.